Hello everyone, welcome. My name is Mr. Perspective. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to be making tons and tons of coins in this game using filters. You could be grinding these type of filters throughout the day. I'm gonna be showing you exactly how to find them and also be showing you a tactic that you can use all your coins at the moment. So right now you could be trading throughout the day and not really worrying about this crash. I know right now a lot of people are losing coins, but right now you could be the unique ones that are constantly winning coins. Let me show you exactly how. Let's get going. All right, now let's get in tune of what we need to do in order to make coins. Now, in this game, in the last 24 hours, I've told everybody over there on Discord, get out of your investments. And as you can see, I did just that. I sold out my Diaby. I sold out my Gabe Jesus. It's pretty much all the stuff that I had tradable. And I've gone completely liquid. I still have a little bit of this card, but I'm just, I'm getting out of it it's nice and slow. Now, let me show you all these tactics that I have. And now these filters are gonna be useful for those that don't have a lot of coins and for those that don't know exactly what to trade at the moment. Right now on Footbin, you could be going and checking out all the gold commons. That's what I've been doing. I've been looking at every single one in need, seeing which one is pretty much in demand where we can still make some nice decent coins off. Now this run right here, this card is selling for about, I think 800 coins. Yep, 800 coins, nice and lazy. As you can see, every single time you see above 50, this card is selling. Try to pick this card up for like 650 coins. I know you're not making so much, so much coins, but you kind of have to start off somewhere in the beginning. And sometimes it's hard to pick off a good, good amount of, of a filter. Now this card, as you can see, 650 wins them quite, quite good. And there's so much type of, um, cards that you can be flipping all these cards can be actually yours and now for 50 cards you could be making about six six thousand seven thousand coins and for a hundred cards that you do of these you're making about sixteen thousand coins so that's pretty good profit now let me show you another type of tactic and these are you gonna have to keep combining kind of positions where there's a lot of demand you need to go to positions that is a lot of demand. A lot of people are doing SBCs with these positions. And now the reason why I'm picking these positions, I pretty much looked at Footbin, looked at all the cards that are being kind of sold with SBCs. And these are the positions that are being required the most for certain, um, certain solutions. Now let's go here for five. As you can see, this one is slowing down. Let's go to a different one. Again, I've been trying so many different ones. And if you find one, like really, like you're in, in luck because these are really hard to come by. Oh, this one's another one. Pick this card up for about 450. 450, 400 coins. I see it as a no brainer. As you can see, people are picking them up right here. Pick up this card, nice and simple. You always want a filter where there's more than one card, so it's easy for you to be doing this. Now let's check out one more. If you want me to do a part two for this type of uh, filters, please leave it in the comment section. I really love to know what you guys want to see, just so I can help out the most people as possible. I think this was uh, RM last time I checked. Let's go, let's go. I don't want to make this video much longer. Um, here we go, sorry, sorry. Now, you always want to see if this card is selling for like 500, 600 coins, then you're in the money, and you're in money. If, if this card is selling for like 400 coins, then it's really, really hard for you to make coins. And as you can see, this one is selling for about 550 on the lazy. Yeah, right here. Nice and simple. Pick this card up, 400 coins, 350. As you can see, I got one there for snipes. These filters are so, so hard to come by. And you can always hit like um, compare price and see what other people are bidding. And as you can see, it was going to be 400 coins. I already knew it. Certain people are they're using all their coins right now. See, 400 coins, 400 coins, and just flipping them. Use all your coins. I know it's going to take a while of transactions, but for these type of filters, if you're winning for about like 260 coins per card, for 50 cards, you're making about 13,000 coins. For 100 cards, you're making about 26,000 coins. Now, over there on my Discord, we've been trading. Um, let me just bring it to your attention. We've been trading fodder. We've been trading fodder. And if you guys are a big fan 
of what we do over there on Discord, please come by over there. We give you always tactics to be making coins. In the last 24 hours, we've been making coins with fodder. Now, let me show you exactly what I mean. The 84s religiously have been falling to about 1.2, 1.1. You can pick up any single one of these 84s. They've been going around content about 1.7. Now, if you grab the wave from 1.2 to 1.7, that's 450 coins per card. That means for every 50 coins that you have, for every 50 transactions that you have, you'll be making 21,000 coins. If you have a hundred of these cards with your budget that you'll be able to buy, you'll be making about 41,000 coins in one swoop, exactly telling you exactly where to pick up and where to sell. And another type of tactic that I'd like to show you is the 87 route. Right now, these cards, you can pick them up around like 9,000 coins, 8.5, eight as best uh, price that you can be picking up this card and during content this card has been raising up to like um, 11.5 12,000 coins and last couple days has been going up to 13 but it's been slowly tripling down as the market crash is alive but these cards are super safe to trade with and with these ones if you catch the flow correctly and over there on discord i always like to tell you exactly where to pick up these cards you can be making about 1300 per 87 that means about 50 87s you can be making about 67,000 coins and with 100 you can be making 135,000 coins in one single day these are the type of tactics that i love to love to show you now let's bring you back to the screen because i got another tactic for you and this tactic like i told you before I want you to use all your coins, all your, all your coins. Now, why do I want you to use all your coins? It's pretty much this one is to find players at the last minute as they're about to expire. And you want to have footbin right next to you. You want to, I want to see a card that has a, a bit on and you want to find out if the card is being uh, really cheap or if you, the card is in demand now let's let's look at a card right now we saw already we saw like uh, the Sun Maxime now this Gabriel Jesus always let's look at him up now try to be quick with this try to have it near with you um, earlier I showed you that I sold my Gabriel Jesus and the reason why I sold it is because I saw the market going even lower so Whenever I, I see the market and there's no demand and the last 24 hours they said that there's not going to be a foot champs this weekend So that has the market super super crazy a, lo a lot of people don't know what to do a lot of people don't know when to buy their players I do believe there's going to be a point in time where it's just going to be way too cheap And there's going to be way too many people and there's still going to be so much demand even with foot champs not being there Friday is going to be a day where everybody starts logging into the game. So it's going to be a pretty interesting time. Now, as you can see right here on the web app, on uh, Footbin, he's about 12.5. I sold this card for about like 16,000 coins earlier. So it's incredible how much these cards are falling down. Now, make sure to keep the web app, the Footbin right next to you. So you can always just kind of look back and find out where's the cards that uh, are expiring now you always want to look at let's see like this card right here let me see if I'm quick enough you want to just like put it in your find out the price of this card right and if this card is like being bid on and it's like 20,000 coins it's absolutely safe for you to go in on it now let's go see it it's 18,000 coins and right now it's about going to 16 so for this card to be profit you want to make it at least to 16,000 coins right here it's probably making him about like 100 coins so it's not that great but this is how this filter works you kind of just have to be quick with footbin and have the web app right next to you so you're pretty much making your coins and are pretty quick with it obviously if you remember the price of certain cards you'll be able to grab these cards super easy and knowing that oh this card is just way too cheap i'm gonna put a little bit on it see if it's uh able to win it now let me show you another one real quick nunez and this one is going for about 1975 so again not a lot of profit in this but you get the idea and here you can get a little bit lucky with these type of bids sometimes people don't even see them so 
it could be good for your pockets. As always, it is Mr. Perspective with your daily trades. I hope you appreciated today's content. If you have any questions for future content or if you want to see something different, please let me know in the comment section. I will always love to hear every single thing you got to say. And as you can see right here, this Modric is about 1075. So if we can get this card for like 9,000 coins, I see it as a great, great buy. Now let's, let's just look and see where the bids are at. And sometimes I like to tell people, see, this is a pretty good price, 9.6 and selling it right back at 10.75. You're making some good profit there, like 500 coins now there. You're going to get cut down there. <laughs> Thank you so much for everything. I hope you enjoyed today's content. Peace.